Today we're going to look at the standard add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimal numbers to the hundreds using concrete area models and drawings. This video will only focus on multiplication. So we are going to solve the problem 2 and 3 tenths times 1 and 4 tenths using area model. The first step is to draw my area model. So I have set up my area model. I have two boxes going across because that represents two and three tenths. And then I have two boxes going down which represents one and four tenths. So at this point I need to begin to multiply. I would start in this box which represents one times two. We know that this would equal two. In this box right here we are being asked to do one times three tenths which I know would equal 3 tenths. In this box here, we are being asked to do 4 tenths times 2 whole, which I know would equal 8 tenths. And then finally, in this box here, we are being asked to do 4 tenths times 3 tenths, which would equal 12 hundredths. At this point, what I would do is I would take my numbers that I have in my boxes, so this, 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 and this, and begin to add them together. So if I were to line them up, 2 decimal 0, which represents 2 holes, 3 tenths, 8 tenths, and 12 hundredths. I'm going to add some zeros here. And then I'm going to add 2 plus nothing is 2. 3 plus 8 makes 11, plus one more would make 12. We would put our 2 on the bottom, our 1 on the top, and then 1 plus 2 would equal 3. So my product would be 3 and 22 hundredths. Just to be sure, I plugged my problem into a calculator where I had 2 and 3 tenths times 1 and 4 tenths, and I was given 3 and 22 hundredths. So the last problem that I'm going to solve is 2 and 2 tenths times 1 and 5 tenths. So again, I'm going to use an area model, but if you notice, this area model looks slightly different. So the way that I need to think about this is I still need four boxes because I have a two-digit number here and I have a two-digit number here. So my four boxes would come from this right here being one of my four boxes. And then beside it, this would be a second of my four boxes. Then below it, I would have my third of my four boxes. And then finally, my fourth of my four boxes. So what I would start doing at this point is start setting up my numbers. I know that my 2 goes here and my 2 tenths goes here. And notice that for 2 tenths we have 2 columns. On this side we would put 1 whole and then we would put our 5 tenths. And again we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which represents the 5 tenths. So at this point I need to start to multiply. So in my first box right here, I'm being asked to do 1 times 2. I know that 1 times 2 equals 2. In this box below it, I'm being asked to do 5 tenths times 2. Well, I know that 5 tenths times 2 equals another whole. Then on the side, I'm going to be looking at 2 tenths times 1, which I know equals 2 tenths. And then finally, I have 5 tenths times 2 tenths. So I would do 5 tenths times 2 tenths, which would equal 10 hundredths. So at this point, what I have to do is I have to take my four numbers that I had and add them together. So I would take my tenths, which is right here, plus my two tenths, plus
plus my one hole plus my two holes. If I add these numbers together, I know that two plus one would give me three, and then I know that two tenths plus one tenth would equal three tenths. So my answer should be three and three tenths. If I wanted to check it, I could again use my calculator. I have two tenths times one, one and five tenths, which would equal three and three tenths.